So this is a simple HTML website, which we will today convert into React.js website. You can check how this whole HTML website looks. Make sure that Node.js is installed on your computer system. Now let's open the terminal in your local system and use this command over the terminal. Use npx create react app command and after that give a space and write your project name. So now the packages are being installed. This will take a few minutes. So please be patient. So now you can see happy hacking in the terminal which means our react project is all set up. Now let's move to this folder using the cd which is the change directory command and give the command code dot which will open your project in visual studio code. Here we need to open a new terminal to start our react server and then give this npm start command. So now as you can see our development server is started. So, let's move to app.js file in the src folder. The content which is visible in the browser is the same which is present in this file which is app.js. Now we will remove all this code written in the return statement. Alongside we have also opened the HTML index file in the VS code. So we will now copy all the code in the body tag from the HTML file to the app.js in React project. Make sure to replace the body tags with the div tag. Below also this is one closing body tag which we will replace with the div tag. For the time being, comment these script tags also and remove these HTML comments also because React does not support these HTML format of comments. Either you can remove or you can even press Ctrl plus slash to convert into a React comment. Now as you can see, we have got rid of all HTML comments. Next step is to change the property from class to class name. We can do this by using a VS Code shortcut by pressing Ctrl Shift L which will help us to edit this class into class name in the whole file. Now next step is to look for some open tags of HTML like input tag, BR tag mainly because they are not supported in React.js. We need to make it as a self-enclosing tag by using slash at the end of the tag. Make sure VS Code is showing no squiggly lines. Like this you have to go through all the code and make sure that there are no open tags and all which were present have been now changed to self-enclosing tags. As you can see, it is showing two errors right now. So let's fix them. As you can see this BR tag was not closed so let's put the slash here. And similarly do it here also. After saving this file, we have got the basic structure of our React website. Next step is to move the script tags which we earlier commented. Because these script tags should not be placed in the app.js file. Like in HTML, they used to be in the head tags. Similarly in React, their position is in the head of index.html file which is present in the public folder. Also these JavaScript functions should not be here so we will comment this for now. Next step is to load the CSS in the React. We will copy link tag from our index file of HTML website into the React app. With this, our CSS will be loaded in our React project. Now we have to copy those folders of HTML website in which all our icons, images etc. are present to the React public folder. It will automatically start showing inside our VS code. Save this all and let's now go back to the browser. Congratulations our HTML website to React is now converted. Just check this and everything is loaded perfectly. One last thing, as you can see in the HTML website by clicking this menu icon, a sidebar gets opened which is not working in our React. So let's fix that also. Let's come back to app.js again. As you can see here the onclick is written in a small case which works fine in HTML, but to make it work in React, we have to use camel case style. We will use the open nav and before saving it, make sure to copy the entire open nav function which we earlier commented in the index file, to inside the app function in the app.js file. We will repeat the same steps for close nav function too. Just save it and let's check it back in the browser. The sidebar is working perfectly now. 
Thank you this was our tutorial on how to convert HTML to React. If this video helped you, make sure to like, share and subscribe to the AppWork YouTube channel. Also, we have written a detailed blog on this topic which is present on our website. Don't forget to check that out. Wish you a great day.